the red! <laughs> oh, great, I love this. God, Ben, I'm such an idiot. I put the shorts on my head. God <laughs> oh, almighty, Brendan, you really are a big fool. <laughs> this, is, this is really top-notch stuff. <laughs> That Brendan's an agent. <laughs> God, I know someone just like Ben. Big pickle. <laughs> Come on, you two. Nearly there. It's a bit creepy, isn't it? <laughs> For goodness sake, Jane, there's nothing out here that could possibly harm. <laughs> there he is now, anyway. <laughs> He's great, isn't he? He is all right. Uh, does he have a name? No, I don't think so. Uh, the woman in the pet shop didn't mention one anyway. Oh, I don't know. Ted. That's a good name for a rabbit. No, I don't think that's a good idea, Dougal. You're forgetting I'm called Ted as well. <laughs> I could call you Father Ted. No. <laughs> Seriously, Dougal, you'll have to come up with something a bit more original. Hello, fathers. Hello, Hello Mrs. Mrs. Doyle. <laughs> How about Mrs. Doyle? <laughs> no, Mrs. Doyle is not a good name for a rabbit. You need something like Popsy or Bruce. All right. Wait, I've got one. You see the way he's got big floppy ears there flopping all over the place? Yeah. Well, why don't we call him Father Jack Hackett? <laughs> Perfect. Father Jack it is. What? Uh, nothing, Father. Dougal's named his new rabbit after you. What? Are you all right, Father Jack? What? Uh, he's not talking to you, Father. He's talking to the rabbit. What? I think Father Jack wants a drink. Drink! Drink! Maybe we could give him water. Water! Fick! <laughs> Dougal, this is getting far too confusing. Ah, Ted, I've got used to calling him Father Jack. Could we not call Father Jack something else? <laughs> Great, what do we call him, uh, Flipper? Flipper the priest. Yes! <laughs> no, Dougal, this is not going to work. Hello, Father Ted Crilly speaking. Crilly, it's me, Bishop Brennan. Oh, feck. Who is this? There is no Krilly ear. God, Dougal, I'm just have to sing feck to Bishop Brennan. Oh, he won't like that, Ted. Maybe it's all right, though. Uh, I put on a foreign voice so that he'll think he dialed the wrong number. <laughs> Krilly. Ah, hello, Bishop Brennan. <laughs> I think you got the wrong number when you called there. <laughs> Shut up, Krilly. Shut up. I'll make this quick. What would the following words suggest to you? Jack, sleepwalking, and bollock naked. <laughs> oh, no. Now, this is the third time in the last six months. You may have heard of Brian Noonan, hmm? A very important junior minister and a personal friend of mine. And I can tell you the last thing he and his family needs to see is the vision of an elderly priest wearing only a pair of socks and a hat. Now, I'll be around on Thursday to examine the security arrangements, and Krilly... Yes? If you ever try to bullshit me like that again, I will rip off your arms. <laughs> Bishop Brennan's coming over to have a word with you, Father, about your nude sleepwalking. Nudie Father Jack! <laughs> Can you think of any reason why you might be doing that? You're not having any uh, doubts about your vocation, are you? What? You can always share your problems with us. Father Dougal and I will always lend you a friendly ear. Isn't that right, Dougal? Absolutely. D do you want to talk about it now? Well, Ted, uh, Biker Grove. Oh, God, yes, after Biker Grove. <laughs> Go 
on there. Go on, boy. Fetch. Go on. Go on. Come on now, Dougal. Get him into his cage. I don't want Bishop Brennan seeing him. Ah, Teddy might like him. No, he wouldn't like him. He doesn't like rabbits at all. Why not? It's a strange story. About ten years ago, he was in New York and he got trapped in a lift with about 20 rabbits for the whole night. They started nibbling his cape and everything. <laughs> How did they get in? I don't know. I suppose they must have burrowed in, you know, rabbits. <laughs> God, he can move fast enough, can't he? Why do you say that, Ted? Well, he just shot across the floor to me there. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's your rabbit? Yeah. So where did this one come from? Uh, Ted, there's another one on Jack's head. <laughs> you make sure your rabbit doesn't get mixed up with these other lads. All right. Come on, Sampras. <laughs> what did you call him? Sampras, like Pete Sampras. Well, you know, rabbits, tennis, you know that whole connection there. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, we'll just release these spare ones into the wild, OK? Ah, uh, look at him there on his own without any other rabbits for company. Hmm? You must feel like Brian Keenan after they took John McCarthy away to another cell. <laughs> anyway, he'll get used to it. Morning, Father. Bills, bills, more bills. Morning, Ted. Morning, Dougal. What will we do today? We'll have to get that rabbit of yours out of the way before Bishop Brennan comes over. <laughs> You'd go mad if you thought there's rabbits around the place. Right, fair enough. I hope he's in a good mood. Len can be very scary, you know, when... when... Ted. Rabbits! Rabbits, where? Oh, wow. <laughs> where the hell did these ones come from? God, it's like a big rabbit rock festival. <laughs> well, I suppose we just have to get used to it. Get used to it? We'll have to get them out of here before he arrives. I'll ring the pet shop. Uh, no, uh, Ted, it was a travelling pet shop. They won't be back till spring. <laughs> God. What are we going to do? Well, wait, now, 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 there is actually something we can do, Ted. If we, uh, now, let me see now, just wait a second there. Uh, um, I know, I know, I've got it, Ted. What? Right, now, now, the way I see it is uh, if we, yeah. Uh, yeah, now, wait a second. Yeah. Um, what, what's the problem again? The rabbits! Rabbits, yes. Yes, Ted, yes, yes, sorry about that. I know exactly what to do. Why don't we give them to Father Larry Duff? You're right. He's always gone on about how we'd love to have a few rabbits running around the place. <laughs> I used to think it was just a mad thing to say. <laughs> Ah, hello, Ted. How is it hanging? Um, it's, it's hanging fine, Larry. Uh, listen, I have a bit of a problem here. Uh, you remember you were looking for a few rabbits around the place? Oh, I do, Ted. That's one of my all-time fantasies. I'd love to have a few hundred rabbits running all over the place. <laughs> well, today's your lucky day. We've got loads of the things. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, Ted. I won't be able to take them. Why not, Larry? I sort of gave up on the rabbits idea. Well, it just seemed too far-fetched. So I got 12 Rottweilers instead. <laughs> I'd love to take the rabbits, only I'd be afraid the Rottweilers might uh, upset them, you know. Yes, Larry, I, I understand. Bye. Ah, bye, Ted. <laughs> oh, you're a bad dog. Don't you look at me like that? And a very bad dog. <laughs> <laughs> he can't take the rabbits. He's got 12 Rottweilers. Hey, 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 you! Yes, Father? <laughs> Rats! <laughs> yes, Father, we can see them as well. Hairy Japanese bastards! <laughs> Do you know what this is like, Dougal? It's like some sort of plague. A big rabbit plague. I wonder if God is punishing us for something. Maybe it's because I, I said feck to Bishop Brennan. <laughs> God, if he'd send down a plague of rabbits just because you said feck to Bishop Brennan, imagine what he'll do when he finds out about all the money you stole from that charity. <laughs> Dougal, Dougal, that money was just resting my account before I moved it on. Ted! No, it was strictly a non-profit-making well, subsidiary account. Ted, the bunnies are gone. <laughs> Where's they go? I think they followed Father Jack out of the room. God, that's amazing. Mind you, I've always thought Father Jack gave off a kind of furry smell. Maybe they think he's some sort of rabbit god. Great, so if we can just keep Jack out of the way... But Bishop Brennan is coming to see Jack. No, we'll have to get rid of them. 
you know that fellow Paddy Jordan works at the Greyhound track? Oh, yes. <laughs> I have an idea. Call me old-fashioned, but I prefer the more conventional greyhounds pursuing rabbits approach. Well, it was just a thought. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll go and give Tom a call. He might be able to help us. You're coming, Father? No, thanks, no. I've got ten pounds riding on that little beauty over there. Come on, Eamon! Come on, Eamon! Come on, Eamon! Who's that? Go away! Uh, Tom, it's just us. Tom knows about this type of thing. He'll help us. Hello, fellas. Uh, hello, Tom. Would you like something to eat? I could do you up a salad. <laughs> no, thanks. Some other time. <laughs> right, fellas, I believe you have a few rabbits for me. Yes, they're in the car. Right, I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> Ted, what's Tom going to do again? I don't know, really. He just said he'd take care of them. I thought he'd collect them all together and put them in somewhere safe. <laughs> all right. So he, he's going to look after them. I'm put a little big pen where they can run around and have a bit of a play. <laughs> okay. So there'll be absolutely nothing to worry about. <laughs> that puts my mind to rest. <laughs> ah, there he is. <laughs> right, fella. Let's get to it. <laughs> That's a very impressive sword. Where exactly are you going to put the rabbits? In the vice, fella. <laughs> In the vice? Yeah, I'll show you. I've been plexing here with this timer. First you stun it, right? <laughs> then you put him in the vines. <laughs> Grab his legs there, fella. Um, uh, Tom, you, you know um, the phrase to take care of something? Yes, fella. <laughs> well, I realise now that you meant that in a sort of Al Pacino way. <laughs> Whereas I was thinking more along the lines of Julie Andrews. Uh, don't worry, fella. They won't feel it, he. Uh, no, Tom Alfredo, you can have a go yourself if you want. No, no, Tom, honestly, <laughs> it's a bit cruel. I could run him down in me van. <laughs> Dougal, I, I think we'd better be off. What's the problem there, Ted? I mean, not that can kill us all, Fred. Sorry about that, Tom. Uh, feck it. Feck it, anyway! Run, Dougal, run quite fast, quite fast. <laughs> I'm sure it won't happen again. It better not. <laughs> Priests walking about in the nude is the last thing that we need. <laughs> uh, yes. And uh, as you can see, we've installed a new closed circuit camera. Uh -huh. And we've added a few modifications to Jack's bed. <laughs> ah, yes, yes. Now, uh, this is new, isn't it? This, uh... Combined with the spikes, it makes escape almost impossible. <laughs> And we also have these new pyjamas. Very easy to put on, very hard to get off. So that's the old nudity sorted. And uh, you have the... Ah, yes, the rope. <laughs> I'd like to see him chew through that. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Plus, in the unlikely event of him getting out, we have this tracking device which should give us an easy recapture. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that costs 50 pounds. Um, maybe we could get that back from the diocese. <laughs> Just joking. Uh, hello, Len. Don't call me Len. I'm a bishop. <laughs> yes, Dougal. Uh, your grace is more appropriate. Oh, your grace. Right. Hello. Anyway, uh, yet again, I am dragged away from my warm fireside to come and deal with the cast of Police Academy. <laughs> <laughs> you behave yourself now, Jack. You listening to me, Jack? No! <laughs> oh, oh, would you like a drink, your grace? I have a small one, please. Thank you. Just, uh, would you like ice with it? Uh, a drop of soda. I'll just get the glasses. Hey, come on! <laughs> Do you like a cup of tea, Your Grace? Time for Jimmy Poo's. <laughs> oh, thanks very much, Mrs. Doyle. That'll be grand. <laughs> mm. Oh, there you are, Bishop Brennan. I thought I should tell you, your car is parked outside. Yes, I know it is. I parked it there myself. 
The tires look a bit flat. I could give them a bit of a blow up for you at the pump. No. What kind of air do you normally put in them? We have ordinary, or well, that's all we have actually. <laughs> and if you're looking for the wipers, I have them in the kitchen. What? <laughs> they look like they needed a little wash. <laughs> the only trouble is, <laughs> I broke the side window while I was snapping them off. <laughs> Leave my car alone and don't touch it again. Just one question, Your Grace. Is your car diesel or petrol? Leave it alone, Mrs. Dial. Oh, no, 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 no. This is just curiosity, Your Grace. Diesel if or... If diesel is diesel! Right. So it's not petrol. No, it's not petrol. Right. So it would do a terrible amount of damage if I put petrol in. Yes, it would. It would completely ruin the car's engine. Well... <laughs> I certainly won't be doing that, then. <laughs> I suppose you must clock up a fair old mileage every year going round the diocese, you know. <laughs> doing the old uh, bishop sort of really, really, really people. Where in. is my room? Well, um, yours is the spare room, Your Grace. It's the first on the right. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, this lettuce. <laughs> oh, no, thanks. I've already had some. You, you take it. <laughs> no, no, really, no, please, really, please. really, I mean this lettuce. Where did it come from? You don't have rabbits, do you? No, of course no! Because, you see, I don't like them at all. I had an experience once with someone. It wasn't very nice. They got into a lift with me, and they started to nibble at my cape and, and everything. It was... Well, you've absolutely nothing to worry about, Your Grace. <laughs> no, that's just where we, um... where we grow the lettuce. <laughs> you, you grow lettuce indoors in a cage. Yes, it's safer, you know. Um, no one can steal it, and, uh... Well, you know... It, Brightens up the room. Uh-huh. Hmm. Um, Quilly, what is this? <laughs> That's, um... Caviar. <laughs> caviar. <laughs> yes, well, it's not every day we have a bishop around, so we thought we'd get the caviar out. <laughs> Right, so what you have done is you have spread some caviar down there so I can get down on my hands and knees and eat off the floor. Yes. What do you think I am, Crilly? A pony? <laughs> I'm going to my bed. Where did you put them, Dougal? The bunnies? <laughs> <laughs> Somewhere really safe, Ted. <laughs> where, where would that be? Guess. It's almost like the type of place you wouldn't even think of. <laughs> God, uh, I don't know. Oh, that small room behind the kitchen. The coal cellar. I've got it. The shed. No, it's not the shed. Come on, Ted, think about it. Where's the last place you'd think I'd put them? <laughs> I suppose the last place I'd think it, you'd put them would be, um... W would actually be... <laughs> Bishop Brennan's room. Bingo! <laughs> think about it, Ted. I put the bunnies in the last place he'd ever expect to find them in his own room. He'd never look there. <laughs> Really, really, what is it now? I just wanted to say, the whole bishop thing, mm. fair play to you. I mean, you probably get a lot of this, but I just want to say, you know, well done. I mean, who'd have thought somebody from Limerick would get this far? <laughs> <laughs> but all the ones you studied with in the seminary, all the other priests, they, they must be feeling pretty sick at the moment. They must be looking at the TV and going, God, how did that awful age get to be a bishop? Well, it's no mystery to me, you know, but it's, I've always felt you have a sort of a bishopy air about you. <laughs> anyway, I'd just like to say, can I shake your hand? Well done. <laughs> really, come here to me. I hate you. <laughs> so all that means absolutely nothing to me. Oh, God, I'm after falling down the stairs! <laughs> Would you believe I just fell down the stairs there? But are you are you injured? Uh, I don't know. I, I have a bit of a twinge, all right. My arm. I, I can't move. Uh, if you want somebody to call an ambulance. Ah no, I think I'll just lie here for a while. Rest is probably the best thing for me now. Yeah. Right. Ah yes, bit of a rest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, did you see that documentary last night about Hiroshima? <laughs> Who would have thought an atomic bomb could do so much damage? I'm going to bed, Quilly. 
I'm all right, Bishop. I'm fine now, thanks. Phew! <laughs> hey, did Len find the rabbits? <laughs> what did he say? God, look, I'd better tell you. I'm, I'm... Did he call me Len again? <laughs> <laughs> you address me by my proper title, you little bollocks. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Bishop Len Brennan. What is he on about now, huh? God knows. What are you on about now, Dougal, you big Egypt? I was just asking, did the bishop find the rabbit? Shut up, Dougal, you big man, <laughs> Egypt! Oh, your grace, your grace. <laughs> May I go in first? Uh, Why? I'd just like to go to the toilet. All the other toilets in the house are broken. Oh, it's just number one. I don't want to know! <laughs> Oh, I needed that. <laughs> but there's no toilet in here. <laughs> God, dude, where are they? They're not in there. Are they not? No, that is a completely rabbit-free area. Well, I definitely put them in there, Ted. Wait a minute, Jack's room. Maybe they smelled him and had to see him one last time. <laughs> I think you might be putting that in a slightly over-romantic way, Dougal, but... Good guess. Come on. God, Dougal, you're right. There's loads of them here. How did they get in? They must have burrowed in. You know rabbits. <laughs> well, we'll have to do it in shifts. Get them out of the house and as far away as possible. Why can't we just leave them here? Because, Dougal, my nerves are shot. I won't be able to relax until the only rabbit left is the one sitting in your head working the controls. <laughs> God, Ted, there's loads more in here. Look at this one. Doesn't he look like that fella? Um... Harvey Keitel. <laughs> Harvey Keitel? God, Dougal, how could a rabbit look like a... God almighty! Spitting image on <laughs> Anyway, Dougal, we haven't time to think about things like that. Come on, let's get them all. Get that fella there, please. Come on, come on, lads, come on. Come on, lads. Come on. Come on. Come Bunnies are gone. Oh God, where's Jack? Oh my God, not the bishop's room. Come on, Dougal. Dougal, get as many as you can. Come on. All right, Ted. Come on, lads. Find that one on your foot. Oh, no, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. <laughs> Just a bad dream, Your Grace. <laughs> Over in the mood. Oh. <laughs> 